Oh, it's not it's, 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 on no, 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 it's fine. It's totally fine. Don't get frustrated. You know, there is a better way. You just learn it. Distributing oh, property. Yeah. Why don't you try distributing property? So. This is a hands-on. It's called hundred percent hands-on. And we have a new student. What's your name? Excuse me. What's your name? Oh, okay. Okay, uh, Today our topic is distributed property. Now, uh, Rifat, uh, what is distributed property? But before that, let's take the oath. Uh, memorization is a crime. Very good. What is the distributed property? I don't know. All right. Um, you want to learn? Yeah. All right. Let's see uh, how many group we have here. Uh, one, two, three. Three. If I give you, uh, if I give you this three candy mm -hmm. for three group, how are you gonna put them? Um, so you can just put them in the box. One, two, three. Well, no, all three. Put one in each box. Oh, okay. So one in each box. So one and two, three. One in each box. Oh, okay. So okay, like one. that. Now let's distribute this. Distribute them. Yeah. But this is orange. I I can only use blue. All right. Oh. Can you now distribute it? Yeah. So one over here, one over here, one over here. So. Oh, That's very it. good. Can you? This is called distribution. Can you now explain? Can you now give me the definition, hands-on version definition of the distributed property? Yeah, so uh -huh. distributed property, you give, uh, you know, one to each group. One to each group, right? Yeah. It was already grouped before with the blue. Mm -hmm. And you right. give one orange to each blue. Right. Right? Right. Um, if um, I ask you to uh, put now this time without Okay. Any hint, I ask you to distribute the green. Mm. Can you distribute the green? Okay, so I'm gonna give one green to each group. There's one green to first group, one green to second group, and one green to third. So what is the definition of distributed property? Um, this giving one to each group. Giving one to each group. All right, let's then put this idea in action. Yeah. All right, so let's solve this problem. Three times four plus three times four plus six. Ah, oh, three times four plus six. Go ahead. Use the distributive property to solve this problem. Okay, so that's gonna be pretty easy. So I know I have to do. No, well, first let me write down my PEMDAS. So at least I know what to do. So P E M D A S. Mm -hmm. So first I have to do parentheses over here. So three times four plus six is ten. So three times ten, thirty. This is good, but this is not what I'm looking for. I ask okay. you to distribute. You see that it was blue before, right? Okay. Do you see the blue? Yeah. The blue, the blue. And I ask you to distribute the orange. the orange, right? Okay. Okay. Now, so what? So how many group we have? Three. Is group contains? Is group contains how many blue? one now you distribute orange to each group each group so initially you have the blue right right so let's write it by blue okay and then you add what orange, orange to each blue can you now add orange to each blue yes so i can use the color coding okay you can use the oh yeah yeah okay definitely so now i have to give one orange to each blue one orange to each blue. So three times four. Okay, so that's the first blue I gave it to. And then I'm gonna add it because there is an addition sign to the other blue. So now I'm gonna do three times, not four. I already distributed to four. Now I have to distribute it to six. And now I just have to simplify, right? Yes. So and simplify it now. Three times four is gonna give me 12. And 3 times 6 is going to give me 18. 
I add them up and I get the same thing. You see 30? 30. Yeah. So this one you use the frame dash oh. traditional way. Thank this you. one you use what way? Distributed property. Dis distributed property. Oh. And can I challenge you uh, with one more problem just to check your understanding? Is sure. that okay? Yeah, yeah, I okay. love now. challenge. For unless you want me to use the color coding, I'll sure. do it using what? Make sure that you understand that there is a multiplication sign here. Okay, so what we're gonna do first, we're gonna do parentheses like Pam does. So one plus two plus three, well, that's gonna be pretty easy. So I can do one plus two is three. So let's go ahead and write that. You can see I'm doing it step by step. And then three plus three is gonna be, so four times six, 24. No, you and made it. Six. Okay, so if I distribute 4 to 2, what am I going to get? So 4 times 2. And now I'm going to distribute to the last number, which is 3. Okay, so I'm going to do plus 4 times 3. And now I can just do uh, simplify. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 4 times 2 is 8, plus 4 times 3 is 12. So 4 plus 8 is 12 plus 12. And 12 plus 12 is going to be 20. So here four. you also got 24, right? Here yeah. you also got 24, right? So what are the difference between this one and this one? Tell me. Uh, there is no difference. It's the same. This same is way. Now this is from this. That means you just solve the group first without distributing and this is using the distribution distribution property oh you see the difference yeah now let's see whether you can do it without color coding because i want to do color coding in the beginning and see whether you can do it with the color coding mm. so eight times 50 plus three good luck first let me distribute the eight to the 50 so it's going to be 8 times 50, okay, plus distribute the 8 to the 3, okay, so that's going to be 8 times 3. Mm. Now, 8 times 50 is going to be 400, okay, plus, plus, 8 times 3 is going to be 24. So that means 400 plus 24 is 400. 20. Very nice. So, a student oh. is understanding. This time we did not use the color coding. Now, since a student understanding without color coding, now is good time to challenge this student because ultimate goal is to challenge this student. Now, let's see whether a student can, which way a student wants to solve this problem. Now, I want to make it open ended because I want to. I want a student to understand the benefit of distributions. I'm many student thinks that why another rule when I can solve it with frame dash. Now I want a student to see the benefit. If you can show the student benefit, then you don't have to force him to use that new rule. You can use any rule you want, even traditional rule. Oh, okay. 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 So, uh, okay, so I guess I'll do traditional. So, 3 times 127. So, let's see, 127 on top, 3 on the bottom. Okay, so uh, 7 times 3 is 21. And then 2 plus 0 is going to give me the 2. So, 99,000. Okay. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what I'm doing. What is... No, no, no. It's fine. It's totally fine. Don't get frustrated. You know, there is a better way. You just learn it. Distributed oh, property. Yeah. Why don't you try distributed property? So, now instead of just doing traditional, I'll break this big number up. Yeah. Right? Yeah, the way you like. Uh -huh. So instead of 1, 2, 7, I'll put it in expanded form. Mm. So I'll put 100. 100 plus what is 27? Uh, oh, tw 20. 
And 100 plus 20 plus what is 127? Oh, plus 7. Okay. Now I think it's easy to distribute and then multiply, mm. I guess. Okay. So then first I do 3 times 100. So 3 times 100 will give me 300. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Plus, next I'm going to distribute 3 to the 20. So 3 times 20, 60. And then finally, I'm going to distribute the 3 to the 7. So, 21. 3 times 7 is 21. Okay, almost there. So now I just have to add it up. So 300 plus 60 is going to be 360 plus 21. That's going to give me 300. 81, I got it. Very nice. Before you got 99,000 something, you understand? Now, sometimes traditional way is, 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 is more convenient and sometimes the distributive property make more sense. Mm. Now, let's see which one you feel more comfortable with. 7 times 10 minus 4. Right. Okay, so you can uh, use both property and let's see which one gives you answer faster. Okay. So uh, let's see, this is very easy. First I'll do traditional way. So, so first I'll do traditional way. So seven times 10 minus four. So parenthesis is gonna be 10 minus four, seven times six. So seven times six, 42. Now I'm gonna do distributive. So let's see, so I'll do seven times 10 minus four. Seven times 10, 70. 7 times 4, minus 28, again 42, this is a joke. Very nice, very nice. Very now, nice. now you're going to do the last problem, is that okay? Yeah. Alright, so are you ready for the last problem? Okay, two problems I'm going to give you. So, 5 times, 5 times, 2 times 3. And okay, use the distributive property to solve this problem. Okay, so once again, I'm gonna start by use both way. Okay, so let's see. First, let's do the traditional so five times two times three. So we start with the parentheses. So five times the inside, which is gonna be six. So five times six, five times six is thirty. Okay. And now I'm going to use the distributive property what I learned today. So 5 times 2 times 3. So 5 times 2, that's going to give me 10. And let's see. Wait, 5 times 3 is going to give me 15. And I'm going to get... Smart times. Oh. There's times here. Oh, oh, times, times. Okay. So 10 times 15. Alright, so the bottom of the study is distributive property doesn't work for multiplication. Uh, Alright, so this is a rule to remember. Distributive property doesn't work for multiplication. multiplication. And it, let's verify whether it works for division. Is that okay? That's really yeah. 4 times 6 divided by 2. Okay. Do it both ways. Okay, so first let's do a traditional way. Mm -hmm. So 4 times 6 divided by 2. So the parenthesis, 6 divided by 2 is 3, so 4 times 3 is going to give me 12, mm -hmm. okay? And then I'm going to do distributive property, right? So 4 times 6 divided by 2, mm -hmm. so first let's distribute 4 and 6. Mm -hmm. 4 times 6, 24. divided by? Right? Yep. Okay, so divided by uh, 4 times 2. And yeah, yeah. so yeah, once again, the distributive doesn't work, uh, distributive property doesn't work for the division. division. So, distributive property now, right? What distributive property works and does not work? Okay, how many algebraic operations, how many arithmetic operations do you know? Four, what are they? Plus minus division multiplication. Distributive property works for how many two arithmetic operations? Two. Write them. It works for plus 
and minus. What two arithmetic operation? It doesn't work. Uh, multiplication and division. Very nice. All right. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching our lesson concludes over here. Student have good understanding of distributive property through some hands-on activities. Now I'm going to ask a student what is the definition of distribution property? What is the definition? Uh, definition of distributive property, giving something to each group. Giving an item to each group. group. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you.